So the question is asked, how does spirit art work for me? Let me give you a little bit about spirit art. Um, I first started reading about people um, doing spirit portraits. You start with the Bang Sisters, and this is bringing it into the you know, surge of spiritualism back in the you know, mid-1800s. Around the time period of the Civil War, 1860s, 1870s, 1880s, when table tipping and having seances really came into the forefront because people wanted communication with the dead. People wanted to know that their loved ones went on, that there was a continuity to all of this. So you have the spike of spiritualism right around the Civil War. I mean, there were even mediums that were going to the White House. Um, the Lincolns were very big in seances and mediumship. So now, fast forward, you know, you had the Bang Sisters. There's been so many spirit artists. There's Coral Pulge. There's who worked with Gordon Higginson. Um, she worked with so many people. I mean, there are, you know, these all-star spirit artists that we look back at and we learn from and you know um, I was blessed to have worked with a great mentor who has um, told me how to collect the evidential evidence as I'm drawing the sketch so pretty much the image comes to me in my mind's eye and other traits come to me in my mind's eye I'll see things that they did places that they like like to go I'll ask them for a photo that touched the sitter's heart that I'm sitting with, and I'll see the image of this photo appear, and I'll try to write that down, and I'll try to convey, you know, a bunch of different evidential points that are coming through, you know, dates that are important, illness that this person had, health conditions, what they wore, what their hobbies were. And there's a whole checklist that you go down, about 30, 30, 40 questions that I like to hit on that makes this evidential. It's not loosey-goosey. You can either accept it or you cannot accept it. And to me, when you hand over that photo, you know, that sketch that you, that you drew, and that sitter presents a sketch back to you that resembles exactly who you drew and the characteristics match up, I mean, that there is a very powerful form of mediumship because you're committing. You know, you are committed to what you wrote on that piece of paper and you are, you know, presenting that to the sitter and, you know, they could either take it or they don't take it. And it's powerful. It is so powerful to see the expression in their face when they look at that sketch or if it's a portrait artist that does it and paints it or you know when they get to see their loved one you know painted or sketched back to life it's an amazing you know, connection you know i think that's the word amazing connection to spirit and reiterates the continuity of life and that their loved one is not gone you know their loved one is around them so spirit art to me is sacred you know it's it's something i take a lot of pride in i continue to develop you know i'm two years into my mediumship journey sitting in circles you know because of covid now it's zoom circles but i sit in circles every tuesday night and i also expand and take other classes offered by other mentors that have you know, years of experience in this form of mediumship and never stop learning, always continue to grow, always collaborate with other people in the field and I feel that that is the way to go, that is the way to work in this field.